Something that someone should know about me. Um, I would say people would look at me like a rock. I'm not easy to break. Like my feelings like are not noticeable. Um, I don't really talk to people. I used to a lot, but now I'm just like quiet and I say to myself. So what are some obstacles that you've had to overcome in your life? That's something I had to overcome was my drug use because I used to struggle a lot with it. But when I came to CH, they like was serious about like helping me get clean and stuff. And they actually helped. And I've been clean for almost like three months now. I had my ups and downs. I had my relapses. But I had a lot of people here who picked me up. Miss Kathy showed me that I don't have to like live in the past. Like it's time to like grow and to like let my light shine. Miss Akela has shown me that self love is the best love. Um, that before I love anyone else, I gotta love myself. And Miss Ashley's like a mom, basically. She's always there. Like when I have like my depressive episodes, she's always there to like pick me up. And at first I didn't trust no one when I came here, but I had grown to them. So I just like grew a bond with them because I knew at the end of the day, if I needed something, I could go to them. What are some of the, um, what are some of the things or ways that you cope with the hard days? I journal a lot. I probably like have six notebooks in my room filled with stuff. Because writing my thoughts down on paper is more easier than speaking out loud. Because I have like really bad anxiety. And sometimes when I tend to speak when I'm upset, my words don't come out as I want them to. So yeah, it's easier to write. Like me and my best friend Leah, um, we have like these books that my caseworker had bought and every day like we like pull out a number and like we flip to a page and it'll, like there's different writing activities yeah what are some of the other wins that you've had or, or things that you've you've uh, done talking about the abuse my stepdad and my mom put me through i didn't want to do it but then one day i just opened my notebook and i just started writing about it that was a big achievement for me Accepting my cousin's death was a big one as well. I've overcome a lot of stuff. I got it says mess up this t-shirt, this shirt, crack an egg, wipe it all, spider something, and doodle. You got an egg? I want to have an egg. Why would I have an egg? I don't know. Why wouldn't you? It's a question. I know, I just don't. Mm. Oh, I wanna draw a cake. I'm gonna draw a pig. Don't judge my pig. Um, I have a book that I've been reading yeah. about somebody. It's Dolly Parton. Oh yeah? Mm-hmm. Yep, she's a pretty interesting person. Very neat story. Yeah. Anything specific so far that's been your favorite part? her struggles and how she overcame her stuff, like her life and stuff. I don't know, she's like really, like, I just like how she stands up for herself and she doesn't let no one tell her otherwise. What are some things that people may have said or that people may have thought about you that is different or that you can say, you, can, you people can't say that about me because it's not true? I'm in foster care so I won't be nothing in life which is definitely not true because I have plans. I want to go to college and study law enforcement. I want to be a police officer. The police officer at our school, he's really caring. Like he goes way beyond more than what he should be doing for us. And he was like one of the reasons why I wanted to become a police officer. How many places had you lived prior to coming here? I mean, I've been in DSS since 2018, so a good bit, but this is like my third group home. 
other placements they didn't like intervene with us as much we want to have like a lot of activities but here y'all have like activities for us to do we get to go off campus y'all help us with school getting jobs especially for the ones who are like my age 17 and y'all want us to have a future so that helps a lot to see that y'all care this ain't really like a group home like people might think it is but really it's just like a family like a big family basically what would you want people to learn from your story so like to not give up because life's gonna push you down people gonna leave but you just gotta keep going because they want to see you fall and you might not have no one at that moment to pick you up but eventually you will <laughs>